Okay, okay so, so welcome, welcome back, back to the Barrett channel. channel. A warm welcome, welcome to all our regular viewers and a happy warm welcome, welcome to any new viewers. Today I'm here at the Sunward factory. They're a manufacturer of, of kind of really big heavy machinery for construction. They also make aeroplanes and drone helicopters. So this, you know, this is really, really big manufacturing. I'm going to show you around the factory today. But here I've got a, a representative from, from the company. Welcome Hi. to Sunward. Thank you very much. And can you just tell us a little bit about Sunward in your own words? Okay. Uh, our company was founded in 1999 by the Central, uh, Central South University Professor Ho Xinhua. And now our asset is more than 2 billion US dollars. Wow. Our staff more than 5,000. And uh, we focus on the uh, construction uh, equipment. We have uh, uh, 19 subsidiaries and uh, branches in Europe, America, and, uh, South Africa, uh, Indonesia, uh, and some other countries. Wow. And our machines were sold all over the world. Yeah, so that's a pretty big company. Yes. Yeah, that's very impressive. And uh, today you're going to show me around the factory and show me some of your machinery and how it's made. Is that correct? Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, that would be great. I'm really look excited about that. Yes. So I've got my uh, official Sunward hat, as you can see. Good stuff. Okay, so we're looking around your, your factory and I notice you've got an Alibaba.com logo here. Why do you have an Alibaba logo? What, what, what does Alibaba do for you? Uh, 我们平时呢就是说在阿里这个网站上会接触互联网的一个途径 so, so Alibaba help you sell online, right? Yes, yes, ah, yes, yes, yes. okay, cool. Oh man, look at these little excavators here. Oh, okay. hey, my dad would love one of those. My, my, my father, he has a big garden, right? Yeah. He'd love to drive this around the garden. That is so cool. easy to operate. Yeah. Family use. It's like the home market, yeah. You have a yard, you have a garden, you can use this one. Use it, that's so cool. So here at the Sunward factory, now looking at the department that makes tunnel boring machinery. So in Shenzhen, they're building like new metros, so they will use a lot of this kind of equipment to bore the tunnels for the metros, for tunnels through mountains. We recently were in Chongqing. We saw lots of tunnels right through mountains. We're now going to have a look around this area of the factory. So this one you can see right in front of you. This is a, a machine that's a four meter diameter. And this is a, a machine that is used in the Changsha Metro to cut the tunnels for Changsha Metro. Okay. And is this the cutting head? Yes. Ah, so this is, it's actually a cutting head. This is what cuts through the rock, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. The size of these factories is absolutely massive. This is one that's ready to be dispatched to um, complete more of the Dongguan Metro. What's this place we're entering now? Is it excavator yes. assembly? Yes. Okay. So the first stage of building these excavators is we build the cab. So first of all, you can see right next to me here, this is the frame. And then as we, we go down, we start adding various parts to the, to the cab. So we add things like, you can see here going in is the wiring. And then 
we start adding windows and the doors are put on and then as we go further and further down you can see the cab is getting more and more looking like a cab there's some windows in this one here the cab is as we come along this production line you can see the cab is looking more and more like what you would see on a finished product as you can see once the cabs are finished they come down this conveyor line here and they finish up here so this is a, a fairly completed exterior cab unit here and then what they do they, they get queued up here and they go into this testing station here and what they do is they put the cab inside of here and they bombard it with water um, as you can see you've got water spraying all onto the cab and uh, yeah this is tested to make sure it's absolutely sealed for water so no water's going to get in it comes back out and they're all put here and after this they will go on to the next stage of production the the next part of assembly for excavators are the chassis and as you can see the chassis here are getting parts added they have robot welding machines and the, the guy here is obviously doing um, various things added and you can see just just behind me here where the uh, wheels are added for the caterpillar tracks and we will see that in a second so as you can see these ones have rubber tracks and then for different applications we can also fit steel caterpillar tracks to these excavators so as you can see here now the excavators really start to take shape but this production line is really for quite small excavators these are from six tons to nine tons and actually this one they're working on here is a six ton excavator so it's pretty small because the big ones are up to 90 tons you know they're, they're really huge but this is this is kind of a little baby one we've now added the engine and then this guy is connecting up all the hydraulics because these excavators are completely hydraulically controlled all the arm all the movement it's all hydraulic so this engine not only drives the tracks, but it also controls all the hydraulics. And as you can see here, this is like the hydraulic control center. And um, adding all these pipes, which control all the hydraulic fluid around the excavator to control the arms, the movement, left and right, up and down, everything. The hydraulics are really quite complex in these machines. You know, there's, there's a huge amount of pipes here going to all the different functionalities to all the controls, to, to everything, you know. So these guys really have to know what they're doing to make sure everything gets connected to the right place. Otherwise, you'll press up and the bucket will move left. If you press down, it goes right. We don't want that. We want it all to be absolutely spot on. So as you can see, we go through the production stage here. There's a lot of complex hydraulics on these um, uh, excavators, and as you can see, the guys, the engineers are connecting all the hydraulics and pipes up. And uh, you know, these are, these are far more complex than I imagined. I, did, I had no idea there were so many hydraulics on a machine like this, but it's really complex. It's really impressive. But as you can see, as we go down here now, so this one now has most of the hydraulics connected up. They've installed the driver's seat and as you can see the hydraulics are coming through i guess these will go to the controls um, the, the, there's foot pedal controls and there's hand controls here which the driver will use and all these controls control all the different movements and, and hydraulics on the, the the excavators continuing along now we're starting to see pretty much all the hydraulics have been connected up there's just a few more left to connect the the whole thing's in you can start to see the the place where the arm was going to attach and then continue to move along now we're getting much more of the shell so we're getting the the engine compartments completed uh, seats in more and more of the outer casing is being applied to the excavator um, and we continue along here so we've got we've got a couple here in different stages of construction and then we get to here and as you can see this this has already had the arm attached and uh, now the excavator is actually running so we're, we're at a stage where we can we can have it running so as you can see this guy's doing um, testing all the arm to make sure all the hydraulics are working properly left and right up and down 
and uh, he's got he's got quite a good job here. So as you can see here, we almost have completed product. So all the, the machinery is assembled and we're now just applying all the final body panels to the excavator. And uh, I guess by the time we get up to the front, we'll see that some of all the body panels on. You can see body panels sort of over here all waiting to be attached to the excavator, engine covers. And so just to make it look, look nice and, and protect it from all the elements on the construction sites. The excavators are pretty much now complete and uh, this is a six ton excavator and actually this is quite a small excavator this particular factory here makes up to 90 ton excavators and we're going to see those shortly this is really cool i want one i could just just imagine myself driving around on this it'd be so good <laughs> this factory manufactures from this kind of size right up to to these this is like a this is a 55 ton, but they actually go bigger than this. They do it to a 90 ton. And just to give you an idea of the difference, I can sit on this one. And in this one, I can actually get into the bucket. And I can sit in the bucket and look, look how big this is. You can just, just imagine the size of this thing is absolutely huge, you know. So this just shows you the, the difference in excavators they make at this particular factory. I mean, this is massive. This is the latest technology here. And this is a, I'm sitting in a cab. This is not a real excavator. This is kind of like a simulator, but this means that I can operate an excavator pretty much anywhere in, in the country, or maybe even anywhere in the world on a construction site by using 5G technology. And I have a screen in front of me of where I have multiple views of, of the excavator. And I can actually control the whole of this thing right from here across 5G technology. So that's something what I'm actually going to do right now. And first of all, I need to, to put this up because this is a, a safety um, device. And as you can see now, I can control all functions of this excavator from, from here. Uh, so first of all, I'm, I'm sort of moving around and I can I can move a little bit faster and then I can move the, the bucket down or up. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to pick up a bucket of earth and you can see right in front of me on the screen. Look at that. And I'm going to pick it up. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. All this is using 5G technology. That is absolutely just amazing. So this, this digger could be kind of anywhere in the world. And it, this has like massive, massive implications. You know, you can, you can have a whole load of these driving around. And uh, this is just so much fun. I think we're going now. Yeah, I'm just gonna do one more. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. So that was the first time I've, I've seen real proper 5G technology in operation. To something that can be, you know, proper real world applications, you know. A lot of people think 5G is just getting faster downloads on your phone, but this is really 5G at proper work. So, you know, you don't need a driver in that excavator anymore. That driver can sit in an office in a nice environment. He doesn't have to be out on the construction site. And, you know, you can have all the control over that excavator without even being in it. I could sit in there all day and play that. That is just absolutely so much fun. It's like, it's just like playing with a video game. It's just crazy, man. So this is your newest excavator, this mini excavator, which you developed mainly for the European market. And I believe the, the development of this was some information you had from Alibaba.com on, on sort of um, some AI information, big data information which made you develop this. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, we cooperate with Alibaba, it's from uh, 2009. So we special design for online products. So we specialize for this 1.7, we call SWE17U, for the online product to get a better promotion over online. Uh -huh. So you actually sell this online on Alibaba.com? Yes. So if my dad wanted this, he can go on to Alibaba.com and order it online and you will deliver it. So actually I find it pretty amazing that, you know, 
initially when e-commerce started out, people just bought sort of small items on e-commerce. But now, you know, with Alibaba.com, they're pushing even excavators on, on their platform. And I find that incredible that, you know, you can buy excavators online. So also, not only do this company make excavators, diggers, pile drivers, diggers, uh, rock blaster machinery, they also make these aircrafts. Wow, look at that. That is just super duper, isn't it? That is really, really special. That we were going places, turning the memories fading. It goes around like trouble. It all grew into hating. Clouds are rolling in. Rain rolls down my cheek. Thoughts and God. That's really good. Oh, oh, wow, that was so cool. So let's say cheers to Sunwood. Cheers. cheers.